today we are here with Aman Singhal. He is a final year engineering physics undergraduate from IIT Delhi. He has done his research in fields like astrophysics and quantum mechanics under professors both at IIT and abroad. He is also co-authoring a forthcoming publication that will shortly be seen in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society. Let's know more about his research. So, basically I have done about 5 projects now. The first and foremost project that I did was uh, an independent study that's not mentioned in my CV in general relativity with Professor V. Ravi Shankar. So that project did not kind of go very well because I was not interested uh, till the end of my second year. And that was more of a let's get some design credits kind of a project. That essentially culminated into being just a reading project. I did not do any research. I did not do any worth it kind of a work. But then I went to Canada for my second year internship at University of Waterloo. There, I worked in astrophysics, essentially working in data analytics, like big data. And I worked on active galactic nuclei, which are black holes, which are spurring out, spurting out like radio jets. That is the work that I did. I was kind of interested in that. But what drew me towards it was the kind of theory that revolved around it. That also got me interested in physics and that also made me want to become a researcher. Then after coming back, I did, I picked up graduate courses in different cour- uh, in different fields. I picked up specialized courses and I did my research in quantum information again with Professor V. Ravi Shankar. There I worked in something called uh, Shannon Entropy and Quantum Logic Gates. They are quite complicated subjects, but essentially what happens is you have classical logic gates wherein you have an input and you get an output. Similarly, you have quantum logic gates in quantum computing. Then we have, then I went to my third year research with Professor Pradipto Ghosh here again at IIT Delhi. In the summer, I worked in supersymmetric quantum mechanics, which is essentially an extension of the known model of particle physics that we have. After that, I went for a semester-long work internship at uh, Kansas State University with Professor Bharat Ratra. He's an excellent professor and he's working in cosmology. I worked in dark matter and galactic rotation curves. After that, uh, I did my undergraduate thesis with, again, with Professor Pradipto Ghosh in supersymmetric quantum mechanics. All right. So how was your research experience in Canada and the United States of America and how is it different from the research that you've done here at IIT? So the research that I did here at IIT was not at all subpar. The idea is that I was handling academics with it. But essentially the kind of research that I did at Kansas State University or at at the University of Waterloo were more of a full-time job rather than a part-time job. I used to go there at 8 or 9, come back at 6 or 7. And that is the kind of work environment that they had there. So research in its nature is a lot is a lot more relaxed than say consult or analytics or big data. That kind of things. So essentially what I was doing was the kind of culture that they had there was very simple, very sober. You just used to go to work, sit down on a computer, take a break whenever you wanted to, have a few meetings every week, two or three, and that's it probably. It was more or less up to you what you were doing. The professor was just there to guide you. In IIT, it's kind of the same, especially with Professor Pradipto Ghosh and Veeravi Shankar, the two guys I worked with. I can't say about anyone else, but it's relaxed. They tell you what you need to do and you do it. All right. So, uh, how should you seek research internships, and how uh, and could you comment on how you went about it? So, so for seeking research internships, there are two ways. One of the ways is like if you're extremely interested in research and you know about it well in advance that you'll be free during the summer or you'll be free during one semester, you can apply to REU programs, research experience for undergraduate programs at different universities or which are funded programs, or you can apply directly to your professor of interest, which is also applicable, which is also available. And essentially the most important thing is the kind of presentation that you want. You need to know the 
person you want to work with very well not personal level but the kind of research that they are doing the kind of work that they are doing you need to be privy to all kind all all kinds of work that they are doing it does not mean that you have to understand it it just means that you have to know what's going on you have to be interested because understanding is something that will take some time you're just an undergraduate probably in your second year or third year you can't expect to know things that a phd student does not know so how important are exams like gre toefl in the whole process and how common is it to receive a scholarship so gre and toefl are not particularly important but they are especially in today's day and age where trump is ruling so essentially advice for the next years for the second years and first years out there it's not really that important but for the current third years you're going to face donald trump right that is the kind of problem that you'll face so you'll have you'll need to have good gre scores you need to have good toefl scores but they are not the most important things probably most of the universities like stan first year universities stanford caltech harvard what they do is they filter out cvs and transcripts by who is the department rank 1 or who is the department rank 2 so they filter out cg uh, cgpa is above 9.4 9.5 and then they look at toefl scores and gre scores the second year universities don't don't generally do that but essentially what you'll have is you'll have to have a great cgpa in order for your gre score to make any impact at least at first year universities all right so what was the most fun experience that you had that was research related uh probably my time at kansas state there when i was going through a few problems in theory i tried to solve a particular question that i had in mind i tried to solve something that was actually done pretty recently in theory but i had no clue about and when i was trying to solve it i did not encounter that particular paper yet i was able to and that kind of impressed my prof that kind of helped me gain more confidence in my abilities to pursue research but considering that that was not publishable that was not actual original research that was still a lot of fun considering that i could replicate something that was done just in 2010 all right so were there times when you felt that you couldn't meet your short term goals and how how did you keep yourself motivated at that point of time so that happens a lot that actually happens a lot uh if you uh look so uh, i did two projects at kansas state one of them was project that failed after 4 months so i was there for 5 and a half months after 4 months one project fails and it fails completely there is no coming back from it to come back from it you need a time of about 2 years to work on it and that is where it feels so problematic that you know what i have one and a half months left what am i going to do my project has failed that is at that point i almost give up on that internship but then you kind of have to accept you kind of have to understand that in research that happens a lot maybe you're pursuing theory and in theory you get some result that you were not expecting that you don't did not want you kind of have to accept that you know what you have to accept that your assumptions were wrong because that is the nature of science if something turns out to be wrong you can't just be disheartened about it that is the good thing about science you can be wrong and you have to accept it if you're wrong or your research might fail and you have to accept it if it fails but that does not make you a bad researcher that you should just know that that does not make you a bad researcher at all it just so happens that the direction that you were taking was wrong or the gu- kind of direction that you were being guided towards was wrong that's fine it happens almost every time not entirely of your own fault not entirely of the person who's responsible of you so in a sense there's just a grave realization sometimes that you need to have that you will essentially encounter many failures so you need to bounce back from it and it happens to everyone it has happened to everyone every single professor that you'll talk to has had such an experience at least one
So while being so focused on your subject, how did you manage extra curricular activities, and how important do you think is it to pursue these activities apart from your academics? That is a very subjective question. To be very honest, extra curricular activities, in my opinion, well. personally i did not manage extracurricular activities very well i was not intending to go for research in my till my second year and that is where my extra uh, that is the point where i was extremely focused on extracurricular activities i continued with them but uh, it is on on the importance i think it is extremely important that you have at least one hobby have at least something that you do because at the end of the day you don't want to get bored of the thing that you love you want to know exactly what you wish to do and you want wish to have an escape from it when things are not working out or when you just want an escape when you want a vacation so you need to do sports so you need to do some kind of debating dancing literature i did you on air these are important things and this essentially balances your life all right so is there any other advice that you would like to give the students here at iit uh there is a big myth that extracurricular ma- activities matter a lot in your cv it is exaggerated they do matter they don't matter as much try to focus on academics more especially considering the ethos of iit delhi is academics but apart from that academically speaking like apart from that or non related units you should probably take care of things that are that might seem secondary because they get hung up and when you're applying to foreign universities make sure you do it on time make sure you don't just look at the deadline and go like already the deadline is on 15 december i'll just fill the form on 13 december that is not the way to go about it you should have already filled the form on 13th october or november that is the kind of speed that you need you need to be early you need to you don't need to be like exactly on time and deadlines are not just meant to be strictly adhered to deadlines are there to guide you you know what this is the kind of time that you need to this is actually the time that will take take you into consideration that is not the time that they say that will take you into full consideration or that is not the time that they'll say will actually spend some good time on your application so just make sure that you are on time when you're filling your applications for research you have completed all your ngu units and you have completed all your well design grades and all before time on academic front you need to focus a lot it's not like you don't focus on academics at all i'm still bearing the brunt of my excursions pre third year so kind of make sure that you are performing well in academics as well especially if research seems like an option open to you all right thanks a lot aman thank you